The following is for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back guys to our Days Gone playthrough. There has been quite a lot of development so far uh, throughout the many episodes we have. And let's see, what do we got? Full ammo, full ammo, full ammo. Okay, good. Now, we have issues with Boozer. He's like dying with blood poisoning here in Lost Lake. Lisa is missing. And O'Brien wants us to do some research for him and find some things. Uh, baller bars? Huh. Want some find some information, some intel on his research team or the various Nero research teams. And uh, figure out what it is they're doing. As it uh, seems, the Nero researchers that are out there in the field... Well, the left hand doesn't know what the right is doing and that's got O'Brien concerned. So while he's looking for information on Sarah, he wants Deacon to look for information on Nero. So let's go ahead and figure out what we're doing next. Maybe we stop by Copeland's camp and see if we can upgrade the bike a bit. Hey, I came by to see how the lazy bastard's doing. How you doing, uh, Booze Man? Are you, are you tired of laying around yet? Boozer. Hey, uh, you can't be in come here, on, Deacon. Come on, hey, come what's on, going Deacon. on? How's he doing? He needs his rest. Uh, don't mess around with me, Addy. I asked you, how is he doing? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, not good. Uh, damn, it's cold. The They're not enough. <laughs> They're never enough. Oh, wait a second. You said that I, I said that we would try. <gasps> Look, all we can do is wait. Uh, wait. Okay. All right. Deacon. No, Deacon. there's. Uh, you Deacon. know what? There's Deacon. something I can do Deacon. about this. Stop. I can get. Stop! What? I know you want to smash something. I see that look yes. in your eyes, but you know what? You go right ahead, but you do it out there. Daddy, go. I can... Look. <sighs> there is nothing else you can do. Please, just go home. Go home, Deacon. Deacon, Deacon. Hmm. Oh, Schizo. You gonna make it? Yeah, Schizo. He'll be fine. I just he needs a few days. Come with me to the lodge. I want to show you something. I got shit to do. I'm sticking my neck out here. Trust me. You're gonna want to see this. Just, just listen. A couple of months back, this drifter comes into camp. Telling all kind of crazy stories. Said he worked at the airport, was on the ground back in Farewell when shit went down. One night, they were expecting a flight in from Portland. Only it never shows up. The plane was doing a haul for the Red Cross. The Red Cross? Yeah. You getting it? Medicine, doctor shit, cargo hold full of it. Maybe even some of those uh, anti uh, whatever the fucks. Antibiotics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit like that. Just like that. Where? Hey, keep your voice down, will you? Let's talk inside. Sounds promising. So this drifter, he's working in the control tower when the plane disappears off the radar. Poof. Now you see it, now you don't. Right about here. South of Mount Washington. That's what he said. It came down intact. A controlled crash or whatever. The guys got to listen to the pilot bleeding out from a broken pelvis on the ground. Okay, so you haven't sent anyone to find this? Nope. Why not? Because the old man won't have it. Iron Mike, what the... Oh, right. Rippers. <laughs> you catch on quick. Everything west of the Iron Ridge here belongs to Carlos and his merry band of bald-headed freak alikes. Shit. So you go over there and you get caught? You head north, brother. Otherwise, Iron Mike's treaty with rest in peace goes. Okay, yeah, no, like no, I get it, I get it. Let me ask you a question. Why are you telling me this? Oh, wait a minute. First off, I'm not telling you shit. You remember that? Second off, you're a goddamn drifter. What am I supposed to do? Follow you around like I'm your little bitch? Keep your ass out of trouble? All right. I have things to do. I get it. You're just a regular stand up guy, right, Schizo? <laughs> Schizo. Just trying to stay alive. Like everybody else. Hey. 
You do what you gotta do. At the end of the day, that's all we got. Do you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, Schizo. Keep your radio close. I'll be in touch. <laughs> Real stand-up guy. A hey, Schizo. As if any guy named Schizo could really be a stand-up guy, but nonetheless, okay, we have stuff that we have to do, lots, and I expect we're probably going to get some radio calls in a bit. We have some information that we have to uh, carry out and uh, find yeah, for... Schizo, we can always count on you. Well, Brian, Schizo... Oh, shit, now what? Everything's better than standing around this shithole. Okay, I'm just looking around. Let's see. Okay, what should we do first? Let's take a look. Do I have any skills that I can spend? One. Okay. First things first, ranged combat. Appears initial recovery, don't care about that. Reload ranged weapons while sprinting. That's actually probably a pretty good one. Range up and recoil. I don't really use that. I'm going to use this one. There we go. Cool. Okay, and so now if we go to... Nope, not that one. Story, what do we have? Copeland's camp, Hot Springs camp. Burley Lake ambush. Okay, we'll have to, we'll probably do that, but I don't think, uh, yeah, that one shouldn't take too long. Turn to Copeland's camp. Okay, we'll do that first. I'm going to check out, you know what, the mechanic probably won't have anything really for me, huh? I haven't built enough trust with them yet, but you might as well try, so let's see what we got. I'm still trying to figure out the credit situation. No job. Okay. How's it going? You're late. Just looking around. Okay, Go refuel. Out of this shit, yeah? C. A. Yeah, cool. Good now. Always reduction. Okay, so that might be a really good one. Okay, then I guess that's really all that we can do, which is a lot more than I thought we could, so... What else can I get you? Very nice. Now what? Visual, headlight, nothing, tire, nothing. No, no. Actually, what do we have for choices there? Oh. Eh. I hate how we have to have trust to buy parts. Excuse you. It's like, dude, I just want to spend money. Whoa, we have a lot of freaking paint jobs. Standard theme. Jet black, baby. That's what I'm all about. That's a good piece. Nice and sturdy. Ten dollars. Huh. Oh, we got an achievement for that. Farewell original. Oh, hey. You know what? I actually understand that. Death Stranding BB. I like that one. Chrome and rusted. Yeah, I don't care about that. Okay. Sweet. Alright, now we're ready to go. Let me know if you need anything. Wait a sec. I'll get it. Man, my bike looking sharp. Digging that. Is a dead body in the room? Hey, St. John, you there? Yes, yeah, Schizo. I'm here. Now that business we were talking about is going to take me a bit. I got to go check on security. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Check on the rippers there, if you know what I mean. Forget that. Uh, no, excuse me. I've got a clue. Why don't you spell it out for me? Nice try. You seen that? Remember, I'm going out on a limb here. Don't make me regret it. Anyway, I'll be in touch real soon. In the meantime, make yourself useful around camp. The fire pipe is right for you. Oh, you still got me, bitch. <laughs> Look at that glitch over there. Whatever you say, St. John out. Yeah, neat. Look at that. What is happening over here? Hey, St. John, where you at, brother? I'm here, Schizo, but I'm not your goddamn brother. 
Uh. Hey, no skin off my nose. Just doing what I can to help you, bro. That business we discussed? Let's just say uh, you should head out that way now. Oh, you mean the border with the rivers? Very funny. I meant no such thing. <laughs> All I said was, if you were thinking about taking a ride, or what do you drifters like to call it? Ride in the open road? Now would be a good time to do it. You got me? Yeah, Schizo, like always, I got you. St. John out. So funny. I do like seeing a lot of the corpses on the road because it does sort of like make the world feel a bit more alive as if when we're not around, things are actually happening. Like, I think we just passed that wolf carcass. I don't remember if I killed that. I may have. But it's interesting to think that like maybe wolves got into a fight with a bunch of uh, freakers and, you know, freakers were killed by wolves and a couple of freakers killed the wolf. I don't know. That's just cool to me. Now, we passed by this before. Okay, and I remember hearing some freakers here. Maybe they were just around in the area at night, but what is the point of this? What is here? Hmm. I don't know. A lot of areas that we can go to that uh, don't really have any significance. I really want to do what Schizo was talking about. Oh, wait. I took, there we go. Duck through that. But I do have some of the things that I want to take care of, and I do definitely want to go to Copeland's camp and see what's up. They're going to have a mission for us there. <clears throat> I don't think that I have to do it right away. That mission, I mean. Got to be careful. Snipers in this area before. What's this question mark's all about? These guys are still here. Wow. So yeah, the corpses that we lay behind, they do stick around. Dear Cross, well, guess you don't have to be worried about traffic no more, do you? Oh crap. Okay, let's see. I thought I was going to eat a smoke bomb, but apparently not. This is it. Yeah, we got to repair that too. This ripper blade is freaking awesome. Okay, where was the other one at? I think it, I knocked it down. Yeah, there it is. We'll eventually get the perk that lets us get extra meat from kills. It's a good way to build up trust, help out the community. Scrap. <sighs> ah, the roadblock. Oh, what the hell? Uh, that's worth checking out. talking about I can use this okay that's a really weird place to put the axe or the hatchet I guess that's weird this must be a something going on with this instance because that guy was sticking straight up, that sticking straight up, the hatchet sticking straight up. Yeah, somehow, after like a recent update, loading the game just like causing some weird funky issues. some scrap, so we are going to stop with these cars for a second.
There we go. I need scrap. Okay, three. Very good. Oh, that's why it wanted me to go up. That is a pain. Um, I might be able to make this. Okay, that wasn't a huge drop off. Could have been real bad though. I gotta be more careful on how I follow the map. I still want to figure out what's going on with those markings in the map right here. Oops. I thought I could jump that. <laughs> Apparently not. I was actually pretty close. Yeah, I want to get up there. But I can't quite figure out how. I did spend some time on this spot before. That right there. That's exactly what I want. Okay, so this is something important. I might be able to make that as a jump, actually, now that I look at this. I thought maybe if I knocked that tree down, I could walk across it. But I'm thinking... We jump this. My top speed might be there. We might be able to hit that. Yeah, baby. Very good. All right. Can of fuel. Sweet, that worked out. That's it. Ah, I got a recorder. Too low yeah, they got our team scheduled for pickups every night. Shit. Really? I missed that. It's not on our route. I don't know, man. I checked with the CEO. That's what's on the books. Damn it. It's not part of my route. Yeah, no kidding. Me neither. Whatever. I move you guys around all the time. I've got a specific set of stops I have to make. I've got time-sensitive tests I'm doing. Traps that have to be checked. Hey, tell it to the CEO. I don't make the schedule, and I don't pick the rotations. Yeah, but I do. Thanks for telling me. Sure thing. No problem. Yeah, well, I guess you don't have to worry about your duty roster anymore, do you? IPCA tech. Okay, then there was this. Yeah, a Nero injector. Let's see if it still works. Okay. Health, stamina, focus. Yeah, probably gonna be focus this time. That's the trick. Dang, nice. Pretty significant focus increase. Sweet. I'm stoked that we got this. Now I know what that means. That little, like, band-aid thing or whatever looks like that signifies, uh, injectors, maybe? Ooh. Now he was saying something about Copeland's camp taking shots something like that but that recording overtook what he was talking about so I couldn't quite tell what he was saying there's like monuments and stuff here but I don't really care gate someone's here open in the gate Alright, let's talk to my man, Manny. He's on the other side, though. I think we're gonna run out. What's going on? Yeah, right. mystery meet again. You looking for something? Let's see. Repair. Stuff for you. Refuel. Oh, wow, I know I have no I money. I just don't shit. get That's it. I gotta sure. figure out. Alright. If I drop off meat, is that how I get more money? Let me see. Don't be a stranger. Hey, Dick, we're at like. How's it going? Shut up. They're like 200 Damon, some. How's it going? <laughs> You've been busy. That's all I got for now. Okay, where's the kitchen right behind me? That's all I got today. Let's see. Deacon, hey. Hey, Damon. Oh, not much. I don't know. I guess the jobs pay really well. I get confused. Sometimes I think I'm broke and I've got tons of money, and now I thought like 
Hey, I've got tons of money over here that I can spend, and nope, I don't. Deke. Okay, whatever. Who cares? I'm just stupid. Got something you might be interested in. Yeah, don't bet on it, Cope. I'm busy. Too busy to hear about a ripper camp? Here? In the Cascade Wilderness? Rippers up here? <sighs> Where? Thought you might be interested. I heard how you and Boozer got hit by it. In fact, I haven't seen Boozer around much, have I? Where, Cope? It smells like up by Separation Meadow. Flack, you I know her, don't you? Anymore? Saw him firsthand. Passed their camp when she was out on the supply run. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. It's it. Okay. <laughs> What's going on? You're back. It's good to see you again. All right, let's go back to the story. What do we got here? Ambush camp, turn to hot springs. Flying all night, sneak under Terry stealing in my axe. Okay, that one seemed more interesting to hey, me. Hey, Jesse, that was my favorite bounty collector. Nothing. Tegan, how you been? Let me get the gate. I wish the NPCs, and especially the dialogue, was a bit smarter. It's a little frustrating that they repeat themselves when I'm within general earshot. Like, don't greet me when I take five steps away from you and then I take five steps, like, back. And plus, like, the NPC background dialogue is very, very loud. It interrupts, like, other important dialogue happening between key characters. I really wish I'd get achievements for making such baller jumps, but whatever. I like how the Ripper Blade's got blood all over it. It's so cool. Yeah, these guys I killed a long time ago. I'm surprised the game doesn't have more of like a memory issue. There's so many corpses laying around that I've, I guess, created or I've killed people like so long ago. Oh, the deer is dead. Convenient. And I think there's a gas canister right over there. I want to grab that. Oh, there's enemies nearby. Oh, they're little kids. Why are they attacking? I thought they only come at you after... After you've taken some damage. I'm... Hey, they're running. Whatever. I'll get gas up here. But we got to be careful that sniper as well. There's a gas station up here where the sniper can appear. Doesn't look like he's there now. Okay, we're good. Good. I think one other like quality of life difficulty sort of improvement is that Locations that offer gas, I feel like they should have limited supplies. Because I feel like everything that I find, from gas canisters to the safe house gas tank to gas stations, they all have unlimited supplies of gas. Which, don't get me wrong, like, I like it, but I don't. Like, I like it in that it's convenient, but it, for a mechanic, like a game mechanic, oh shit. For a game mechanic, it seems weird that they would make that so common. And so easy, you know? Can I smash three? Let's go for three. Ah, oh, just two. I think there's a horde nearby, that's why. There's like a horde cave just off the road somewhere very close to where I'm at. So it's like, obviously you're riding a motorcycle around, so naturally you have gas and other things. Finally. That you have to worry about. It wouldn't make sense to make it like unlimited driving around in the motorcycle. But in the same vein, it's like, if you're going to make the gas so common in an apocalypse, no less, like, why even have it at all? I don't know. Whatever. Maybe there's a fine balance. I just, I'm thinking out loud. Uh, someone's nearby. That tripwire is there. Okay, let's deal with this and then follow that thing. There's just too many things that I need to be doing. That's them. Damn it. 
Oh, it's just these morons. Oh, wait. No, that doesn't really do much damage from that far. Where's that chopper at? What is it circling? Let's keep an eye on it real quick and see what it's doing. Oh, there's more enemies here. Is the chopper... be something down below. Okay, well, I'll worry about that in a minute. There's too many things. We're real close to this objective. One thing at a time. There's a lot of dead bodies around here. So far, we ran into marauders. I'm not seeing or hearing any freakers. dialogue right as it was transitioning to a cutscene it looks like. Okay. Schizo, it's St. John. I'm at the border. You see any of my men around? No, Schizo, it's clear. Look, how much time do I got? Time? Time for what? All I know is I got a card game going on with a few of my guys. A couple of them maybe they should be out on guard duty, but I'm letting that slide. If I had to guess, I'd say we'd be playing all night. So until morning, got it, Deacon out. Okay, he made co a comment about the raiders. Are they still in the area? Their corpse is back there, but I think we might have just bypassed that situation. Okay, where are we going? Take a look around here first, see if there's anything useful to grab. Doesn't look like it. Okay. I guess we'll just ignore this then. A lot of corpses nearby. Oh, I see. Can I... Should I drive... Oh, there's... Yeah, there's enemies here. There's a corpse back there, too. How deep is this? Fairly deep. Okay, I'm not sure exactly if I'm s supposed to take my bike through this or not, but we're gonna do it. one more shot. Oh, hey. Oh, that's cool. It means one refill of all ammo. Very nice. Damn it. I wish I was a better shot, though. Oh, God. Get in there. That's a big boss. Deep breath. 
I can't see. Damn. Okay, that's not the approach that we want to take with this. Okay, he's like a first sort of mini boss that we've seen. Okay, now we know what we're up against. Just moving. There we go. Where's the fourth one before the boss? There you are. Oh, there's the boss right there. Okay, what do I have? What's a smart play here? Flashbang. Yeah, that guy will kill me if I get too close. Uh, I hate to for take my ammo already, but I need the sniper. Well, I guess we got a little ammo from everything. I wonder if I can hit the helmet off that guy. I can. Okay. Nice. He looked like he was carrying a backpack of some sort. Hey. Of course, if I would have known that was there, wouldn't have wasted my own. I could make something out of this. Kerosene or rag. Pipe bomb, very good. Smoke bomb. Okay. Actually, why can't I just jump over it? Let's see another football helmet guy over there. Push this now, though, for the sake of getting my bike through. Mm. Is there anybody else I should be worried about? I'm sure there's somebody in that outpost, but nothing I can see yet. Wish we could whistle and have the motorcycle just appear like Roach. These guys all seem crazy, not like religious zealots. I don't really understand them. And as many as there are, how have they not found this down Red Cross thing yet, you know? Thank 
Thank you, Silencer. Okay, let's go retrieve the ammo. Stuff moving down there. It looks like rags hanging from poles and stuff. Always need this. No idea if there's going to be enemies down in there, but that looks like a... Yeah, it's a ripper location. There's got to be tons of bad guys there, I would think. Dropping off. definitely be coming back here. Just don't think it's wise to go down there now. I don't know what sort of threats await us. So it's probably really not safe. Yeah, see, in certain missions, the game gives us unlimited gas anyway. So what's the point? Okay, more enemies appeared on the map. Ah, oh, there's one down there. He must be the one that triggered it. I don't see any other movement. Looks like lights down there. Something's going on. Oh, not what I wanted. But that works. Fire to go out. It's a monument here. I usually don't check these, but since I'm here. Come on. <laughs> Devil's Lake. is. Yeah, come on. You were right here. How did you not find these things? Freakers here too. Ah, oh, shit. It knows I'm here. Flashbang. This is gonna suck. Ah, oh, damn, this is gonna be a big pain in the ass.
thing is monstrous. as much damage as I want it to. I need to get a smoke bomb. Oh, come on. Oh, God. Jesus! The amount of damage this thing does. Come on. Alright. This is gonna suck. Oh, the sniper headshots are good though. Jeez, look at that. The amount of damage it does. Oh god, it's these little things. The kids are gonna attack me. Great. Oh shit! slow him down as you get over this thing. I need to grab everything that I can here, too. There's a lot of items that I missed, and I don't even know if the game is going to be cool. Let me pick them up now. I'm not seeing any items. Yeah, you little bastards. Fun on that. Burn, you damn it. More bounties. I don't know if I can get up there, though, to collect them. Can I? Because that would have been too cheap. Get up there, and I would have been able to pick them all off. The big guy. Yeah, nothing. Got some stuff there. Crap, there was some ammo laying around, like a little ammo can, or whatever, but... Looks like it's not visible now. What is that? Scaly Hedgehog. Hey, there we go, some ammo. I think I'm good for the moment. Yes, this will work. I gotta get on the back of my bike. Won't be that easy though, I'm sure. Yeah, it's the first time we've encountered a freaking breaker. That thing is a monster. Literally. 
Please will fix him up, and then we ride out of here, head north, like he said. How do I? There we go. Deacon St. John, you there? Deacon, this is Ricky. Over. Damn it, I can't let her know I'm out here. Hey, Ricky, this is Deke. Uh, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Deke, where are you? I need to get... Ah, yeah, sorry, Ricky. I don't have time for this right now. That was intense. Wait! That's Deacon. Behind him! Right up the road and make sure they don't come back. Now! Run them down! What was left of them? Yeah. What was left of them? Hey, I heard gunshots. What's going on? We had a run in with a few rippers, but I handled it. You handled it? What is it? Wow. I should have known. You should have known what? Jesus, Ricky, who's running security here? You know, I ask myself that shit every single day. I'm done here. Good. So what are you doing out here? What am I doing, Dick? Okay, Addy told me to come and get you. Why? What? Hold on for a second. Is Boozer okay? I don't know. We gotta go. What's wrong with Boozer? All I know is Addy told me to find you. When I asked around, I found out you and Skizzle were heading up here. Now I know why. I don't know what you're talking about. The crash site? The medical supplies? It's no big secret, Deke. Iron Mike was negotiating with Carlos, making a deal so our camp would split it with the Rippers. Oh, bullshit! What do you mean? I mean bullshit! I was there. Had that cargo hold's already been looted. Tracks from the crash site all head south. Now, I've been dealing with the fucking Rippers for months. You can't trust a goddamn thing they say. Now you're sounding like Schizo. Schizo, he put you up to this. He told you about the crash site. Ha, <laughs> yeah, great. So now you're calling me Schizo's errand boy. No? Then how'd you find out about it? A drifter up at Copeland's camp. Like you said, it ain't no big secret. Yeah, right. Well, Schizo's been trying to pick a fight with the Rippers for months. Guess it's lucky you came along to do it for him. So let me ask you something. Can I stop you? Last time I saw you, before last winter, you told Iron Mike to go fuck himself. Because he wouldn't pay you to bring in survivors. Not exactly what happened. I remember it pretty clearly. Iron Mike said he'd have nothing to do with slavers. Okay. We never forced anyone to come in against their will. How about Tucker? Same thing true for her? I don't know. You ever think when you roll up on someone, starving out in the shit maybe hasn't slept in days, reach the point where they stop running from men like you, you ever think they don't have a choice? But you took them to the hot springs just to say, earn a few camp credits. Everybody's got a choice, Deacon. It takes us a lot, too, bringing in someone who can't work can't earn their way. You know, you just be glad that Iron Mike isn't like you. William. William, if you can hear me, I need you to stop. Addie, what's going on? Boozer. Go and hold him. What the hell are you doing? Listen, what are you doing? Listen, we Not need to do arm. this and we need to do this right you now. What? No. Huh? Don't you... Oh, don't no. you take Deacon. it! No, no! De no, you're not... No way! No, you're not gonna Deacon, do this to him. listen to me! The antibiotics will save his life, but nothing on God's earth is gonna save the arm. Now listen, I need you to help me right now, or you can just watch your friend die. Okay. we're losing him! Stay away! All right. All right, all right. Come on. Hey, pal. This sucks. Hey, pal. All right, hey, I just need you to stay Hold with him. me. Hold him there. Okay. Hold him. Deke. Deke. Okay. Hold him down right there. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! 
No, 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 he's losing too much blood. You gotta stop. He's losing too much blood. He can't need to go. Tourniquet, maybe? Oh, no. Loser, come on, man. Come on. Hold it. You're okay, pal. Where? Where do I hold him? Just hold him like this. Stop panicking. I'm crying. What do they do with the arm? Toss it in the trash? Burn it? Hey, you did good in there. When I was in high school, I thought, hmm, maybe I should be a mechanical engineer or should I be a surgeon? I guess I should have been a surgeon. <laughs> oh. And you. Hey, hey, okay. You know, you saved your friend's life today. I don't think he's going to see it that way. I'd rather yeah, die than lose my arm. I'd rather I'm die. Go and give him his IV drip. And you know what? I don't know where you got all this, and I don't want to know. But it's going to save a lot of lives, Deacon St. John. A lot of lives. I got to go help Abby. Mike, just settle down, okay? Deacon! Get out here! Oh, God. It's not one thing, it's another. I heard what you did. I wasn't about to let him die. Mike, let it go. It's done. I know that, God damn it. Who's are gonna live? I don't know. But the Ripper saw you. Followed you back. When Carlos finds out about this, there's gonna be the devil to pay. Carlos can go fuck himself. You are writing checks with other men's blood. I hope you're good with that. You did what had to be done. Mike. Wait up. The other men's blood. I love that title. That's great. Yeah, I'm surprised. I really thought that Boozer was going to die. He's going to be really pissed when he wakes up. Oh, man. All right. Well, that wraps up this episode of Days Gone. I wonder if we're going to get some more dialogue before we can go pop into our sleeping spot here and save it. But either way, before you go, do me a solid. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any feedback for me, leave it in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, I thank you again for watching this episode, and we'll continue on with a brand new uh, episode in the playthrough tomorrow at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, right here on the Mark 9 channel, part of Mark After Dark. I'm just going to grab some shot eye. All right, Deacon, you do that. All right, guys, take care of yourselves, be well, and I'll see you next time when we continue the playthrough of Days Gone.